today I am going to be talking about uh, my experience working with GES. So I worked with GES from uh, 2012 or 2013 to 2019 or 2020. I'm not very sure which is which. But I'll, I'll just confirm, I don't know. I, point is, I work with GES. Um, I worked in a high school. I was in the accounts office and uh, a lot does not make sense. So if we should compare my, I, I'm, well, I am going to compare my experience with uh, um, free SHS and the previous system that we have. I will do a simple calculation for you guys to see right here. And you will know how much money we are losing every single term the um, high school students go to school we lose so much money it's crazy so in the previous um before uh free SHS was introduced sorry the school fees for boarding boarding borders was 605 ghana cities sometimes it's 615 some i don't know let's say 605 ghana cities that i can very much confirm I think 2018, 2017, 2018 year or something like that. Um, and I will try and pull up uh, um, facts and stuff like that because uh, some of you are weird. Now, if you take 605 Ghana cities, right? The school I worked in, for example, the entire population of the school was around um, 2,400 and something, almost 2,500. So let's say 2,500 students. Let's just assume that um, 1,800 are boarders, and the rest of them are day students. The um, 2,500, 1,800, are, so let's say uh, 700 are day students, and uh, the rest of them are boarders. Now, you multiply 605 by um, 1,800, you get a figure. Then, you multiply that by... Um, now they are taking two streams at a time. So once these people go and another stream comes, another people go, another stream comes. And naturally in the whole year, we have first term, second term, and third term. Then you get to, you leave a first year and go to second year. So that's three terms in a year. So multiply that three times two streams that are going side by side in the year. Then you multiply whatever amount you get by 605. You see how much we are losing per school. Now, when you get that figure, you see all the um, all the secondary schools in this country are around 450. There's 450 secondary schools in the country. Let's assume all of them are, are able to take borders and day students. So those that are not able to take borders will cancel out those that are able to take borders, and blah, blah, blah. On average, just use that, that 450 schools. Multiply that by the first figure you got you will see how much we are losing every single term. Every single term they reopen a free SHS and students go to school. That's how much we're losing. If you don't, if you doubt it, I'll do the quick calculation here. Um, yeah, I'll try. I'll try my best to do it. So you pay attention here, either here somewhere or down here somewhere. Um, I should have it. So 605 times 3 times the population of my school, which is was borders in my school is 1,800. Um, um, you multiply the amount you get, you multiply that by 450 schools. Now, that is that amount you get there is what um, we are losing for borders. Now you take that average of 700 day students per in my school, in my, the school that I worked in, form one, form two, form three, and you, <laughs> I, even, I even forgot that there's form one, form two, form three. So it's not just one term. Whatever I calculated is one term, <laughs> one year group. So you take that 700 and multiply that by, um, so the day students at the time when I left were paying 115, 115. So let's say 110 Ghana cities or 100 Ghana cities. That's 700 times 100 times Two, fuck. Okay, I'll try and do the calculation myself and leave them over here so you know. And I put, I will put the facts everywhere so you guys will know. Every single time the reopen school we go, Ghana loses so much money. It's crazy. I don't know why they think this is sustainable, but yeah, we're fucked. Yeah, I'll be honest, dude. There's no, there's no um, say it's low, say it's soft or whatever. No, we are fucked. 
we are literally fucked. If we keep doing this, then we are fucked. I voted in the, the, the last election before the very last one. I voted, but this very last one, I did not vote because I just did not believe things were going to work out soon. And now I was right. I'm so glad I did not vote because I would feel some type of guilt. Now I, I don't feel any guilt. So I left GES because... Um, I left working with GES because uh, it was just really not sustainable. I don't know. In another video, I'll discuss why I left. But in this video, I'm talking about how free SHS is not really helpful to us. So if you're a Ghanaian and you're outside the country or something like that, and you think this is good, please stop. And uh, um, it would be better if um, the 100% free is paid on students who merit it. So for example, when I was working with G, the, 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 the high school I was in, um, uh, the, there's an end of term report thing they do. So let's say one kid, first year, second year, he scores A, 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 about six A's, seven A's, right? You put, you pick that one from first year, second year, third year, who, whoever is brilliant, and you put them in a pool, in a, in a regional or district pool or whatever, and they go for an exam that is not um, uh, examined by um, the t teachers in that school. So teachers from another region can come do it for this region, and another region can come do it for vice versa and stuff. If worst case scenario, we can get university teachers to set random questions for the students to answer. Now, if that student passes, that exams, then they merit 100%. But before that, the feeding fee component of any, that's the 605, the feeding fee component was around 330 or 350 Ghana cities. Let's say 300 to 350 Ghana cities. So if the student passes that, that is what government is supposed to pay for the student. Then the parent pays the rest. This would have been more sustainable and wouldn't have had this hardship we're having now. So if you're a kid and you're in school and you're not learning, you're not, you're getting all D's and D9 and F9 and whatever you're getting, you don't merit the free SHS because you one bad nut cannot spoil the soup for everyone. Guys, that's 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 just my opinion. Hey, if you like it, cool. If you don't like it, that's up to you. And the reason why this affects the economy is that every time we were paying school fees. There were, there were components of it that was going to get fund. There was component that was going to PE. There was component that was going to district assembly. There was components that was going to everywhere, X, Y, Z, feeding, blah, 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 blah. So if once, as the government, you take that away from the schools, you take that from away from the district, you take that away from get fund, then it means you have to find money and give it to get fund. You have to find money and give it to GES. You have to find money and give it to PE. You have to find money and give it to um, sports directorate, whatever, whatever, for them to organize everything they need to organize. So you are not only stopping um, people from paying school fees; you are actually stopping all these companies from not all these um, government institutions from not fun functioning properly. And you know what happens when institutions don't function properly? People are going to steal. So that's that's where we are now. That's where we are now. And trust me, there's a lot of stealing going on. I'll talk about that in a different video. So, yeah, if I've I've made any sense, do you let me know in the comments. And uh, you can reach out to me. You can reach out to me if you're working with GS or whatever, whatever. I'm I've not said anything illegal. Ubufa Ubufu for no reason, bro. Like this, mathematically, it doesn't make sense. I don't know who calculated or advised the current president to to make that firm decision. It is not sustainable. It is very much not sustainable. Come on. I will do a proper breakdown and and this affects the, the ripple effects of this one action free SHS affects so many things because the same revenue the revenue that was coming in that, that was going to the school coffex some of it some of it goes into government auditors blah 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 you understand a bunch a whole cycle so once you stop it's like you're building blocks you build one two three four and then you go and remove two